Hey everyone, this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on some new trades that I got into and I've actually closed out of three of them. I still have a single trade open right now that I'm trying to get filled on ADI, but um, as far as profitable trades for today, I do have NVIDIA here. You can see that um, I went short NVIDIA. Looks like I put in my limit at 144.60 and it actually filled at 144.70. And then you can see I bought back at 144.10. So I was just looking for a 50 cent move there. Um, so that was a nice little scalp. And uh, this was right here. I've got the 15 minute time frame pulled up here. And um, this was right here on these two candles towards the tail end of pre-market. It was trading outside of the linear regression line here to the top side. Um, so it just looked like it was overextended to me and I was expecting a pullback of as, at least 50 cents and you can see this thing dipped all the way down here to 142.29. Um, so that was a nice little swing trade. It filled almost immediately. So that was on Nvidia and then we had also Palo Alto here, which is Pan W. Take a look at the chart um, and they are again um, in pre-market. They were pushing up above. Uh, the linear regression to the top side here on the 15 minute and you can see they made a pretty good move down So I think I got in here. Let's see. What did I sell pan W for? 13980 and then I just looked for another 50 cent move down um, Which with 100 shares is 50 bucks um, So that made a nice move down here to the high 138s So that move happened immediately on the next candle so I closed out of that trade. So that was a nice little scalp there. And then we also have Zscaler. Um, so this one I sold at 11080. Let's take a look at ticker ZS or Zscaler. And this thing is still ripping, still getting sell signals right now. So it's still overextended to the top. But um, yeah, again, in uh, pre-market or just as the market opened, um, I had that thing really cooking. I think it was right here at the tail end of pre-market. You can see it as high as 10981. And then the next candle, we had a gap down and a big move lower all the way down to about 108. Um, so that's where you can see I captured that uh, sell at 110.80 and then the buyback at 110.30. So again, with the stock priced around $100 um, or between that 100 to 150 range, I'm just kind of looking for 50 cent moves there. You know, and with options, 100 contracts, you know, that's going to be a $50 profit there or if you're able to short shares and buy back you know same thing if you do a hundred that's going to be a fifty dollar move um so those were three profitable uh nice trades there as things were kind of overextended to the top side on the 15 minute and then i also got an alert for adi so let's take a look at this thing this thing has not yet cooled down let's pull up ticker adi and it's still cooking i'm still waiting for a pullback on this one it has peeled back a little bit i think it was just at 164.50 or 164.60 you can see it here as high as about 164.70 164.75 somewhere in there so this thing just continued to rip you can see the big gap up here in pre-market um you know this thing was ticking down here around 160 161 and then we have this big gap up here and a hard move higher but i'm kind of expecting this thing to uh cool off a little bit here before the end of the day and hopefully my limit order to buy back will fill so for adi i did sell at 163.75 so i'm looking to buy back at 163.25 so again just a 50 cent move there or a uh, you know 50 uh, profit there um, with 100 shares shorted or if you're able to sell the call option on that so um yeah hopefully we can get this thing uh filled here before day end and then i can start looking for some other trade entries but pretty much everything i'm trading today I'm just looking at the 15 minute linear regression um, and I'm waiting for my uh, scanner to alert me of these trades. Um, so I'll continue to keep you updated on how the linear regression is working on the 15 minute for me. Uh, but today is pretty good, three uh, profitable trades. I hit my profit target and then I'm just waiting for uh, ticker ADI or analog devices to kind of cool off here. So please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.